Hello, in this video we will discuss about the organic phenol chloroform extraction of DNA. So extraction of DNA in the end of the video we will also understand about the three types, the three major methods of DNA extraction. So first of all we will learn the organic phenol chloroform extraction of DNA. So the organic phenol chloroform extraction uses the sodium dodecyl sulfate STS and proteinase K for the enzymatic digestion of protein and nucleic acid the basically uh, non-nucleic acid sorry cellular component but the nucleic acid will not digest in this manner so remember that is why the extraction is possible so anyhow let's begin to understand to getting the sample from the mouth or saliva hair or the blood sampling then blood sampling contain uh, RBC and WBC RBC obviously not contain uh, uh, DNA but the WBC contain DNA which that is contain adenine thymine cytosine double stranded DNA here so in this manner here is the sampling contain cell the uh, B cell and T cell or other immune cell which that is basically used and this is the DNA containing genome the in the nucleus while here is the cytoplasm and the plasma membrane which that's contain phospholipid bilayer of phospholipid so remember so in this way here you can see this is the promote the partitioning of lipid and cellular debris into the organic phase uh, leaving the isolated DNA in the aqueous phase so in this way here is the phenol is 25 percent chloroform 24 and iso a mild alcohol 1 percent which that's containing solution used for the promote partitioning of lipids and cellular debris into the organic phase leaving isolated DNA in the aqueous phase while that is why the DNA will not digest while the other debris can be digested. So in this way after this process the centrifugation will be uh, uh, used. The centrifugation, the centrifuge will separate the two phase, aqueous phase and organic phase. Aqueous phase contain DNA because light molecule while, while the organic phase contain a cellular debris for example bilayer of phospholipids, organelle etc. So here is the aqueous phase will be separate. After this separation, the DNA can be transferred into a clean tube for analysis. So in this way, we will add further the ethanol precipitation or centrifuge filter unit. Centrifuge filter unit or ethanol precipitation will further additional purification and the concentration of the DNA in the sample. So in this way the DNA will be extracted by this method but remember the basically uh, uh, additional purification this is uh, but the purification is basically DNA can be transferred into a clean tube for analysis simply and further we can uh, additional purification and concentrate it of the DNA in the sample. So organic extraction that recovers double stranded DNA and was required for early uh, uh, restriction fragment length uh, polymorphism method but the issue issue with organic phenol chloroform extraction is several for example the uh, we will uh, learn about that because uh, there is uh, basically issue with organic phenol chloroform extraction issue is the time consuming so that is why the time required process so that is why it is time consuming and we can assure the time for using another method and greater hand on effort and multiple tube transfers involved in uh, introduce the contamination and sample uh, mishandling because the changes of the test tube or the changes of the tube will uh, create the contamination so in this way, after this complete additional purification and concentration of the DNA in the sample, we will go for the restriction enzyme, the endonuclease enzyme. Endonuclease enzyme will specific site of the DNA will be cut 
is known as the fragmentation. This fragmentation will create the fragments of the DNA on the basis of the gene different. But we can use the specific primer for annealing and extension lead to amplification in the PCR for the desired segment of the DNA. For example, the insulin producing gene amplification in the whole cell, whole genome. So the specific primer can be used for uh, amplification of that gene for insertion or uh, for a biotechnological process. And three, three major methods of DNA extraction is the last topic we will discuss, the organic solid phase and chelax extraction. So first of all, the organic uh, method is basically, the major method is add the uh, SD and uh, protein kinase, the SD, uh, SDS, the uh, dodecyl sulfate, and in this way the cells containing sample which that will cell lysis and incubate after the incubation the DNA and proteins and lipids layer phase of the DNA and proteins and lipids will be separate and in this way the add the PCIA vortex and centrifuge while the DNA after the separation the transfer and retain aqueous phase DNA so anyhow now the next is the solid phase Solid phase mean here is the add lysis buffer. This lysis buffer is used for the sampling to bind DNA, wash away debris. After the wash away the debris, the elute and uh, elute DNA from uh, magnetic beads and the DNA transfer and retain uh, DNA extraction. So the DNA uh, transfer and retain DNA extraction. And on the other hand, the third one is the chelax extraction. The chelax extraction is the cells as a sample add water. When water add, the add chelax uh, resin, which that will uh, lead to chelax boil and centrifuge. After the boiling and centrifuge, the DNA will be separate in the aqueous medium and in the water and DNA transfer and retain and extract. So that's all method is here, three major methods of DNA extraction, but the organic phenol chloroform extraction of DNA we had discussed previously. So thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, like and share if you like this video and give the comment below. So thanks for watching. Bye.